He's got some SCV couplers that are leaking down. So we're going to go ahead and pull his valve stack off and completely rebuild it. He wanted to go completely through it. So we're going to pull all the lines off the back side, unbolt this stack right here. We're going to put it on the back of the pickup and then go completely through it. Okay, so we got the valve stack here on the back of the pickup. We've got it completely disassembled. In order to get the couplers out, we take the back covers off, and then there is a, a snap ring and a spring here. You take the snap ring out, pull the spring out, and then on the front of the coupler, here's a new coupler, there's a little snap ring here on the edge. You'll have to take that snap ring off while it's still in there, pull it off, the collar here will slide off then, and all your little balls will fall out when you take it apart. If you're trying to reuse the coupler, you want to put some grease on the inside to try to hold the cup or the little balls back in the coupler there. And then you pull the actual coupler out the back. Do not take the snap ring off the back here. Uh, it's not the correct way of disassembling it. So you pull it out, and there is a groove in here with a set of a O-ring and a backup ring. You can change those out. This customer wanted all new couplers and completely sealed back up. So six new couplers and new O-rings. There is also an O-ring kit for this back cover. As you can see, one of the seals on the stem here is missing. You always want to change those out because they get brittle and uh, break off. So you want to always change those as well. And then there's a seal that goes around the outside here that mates up to the, the back end there. There is actually two sets of seals in here. You can see I've, I've taken the front ones out, but I have not taken the back ones out yet. So then when you assemble it, you take your new one here. I always like putting some grease on the inside to get them balls to stick there. I'll pull a little snap ring off, pull the collar off, lube the outside back up with some more grease to make sure that them balls don't fall out. I'll install the new O-rings in each hole then I will uh, lube up the, the coupler here. It goes in from the back. Slide the collar on. Make sure you stick it in the right way. Stick the little snap ring back on. Install the large spring and then the snap ring. And you can install a new seal kit on the, the lever cover here. And then install it from the back. It's held on by two little screws. So pretty simple setup here. A lot of guys think that they just pop out the back on these, but they actually don't. They come out the front side towards the tractor of the, uh, the housing here. Uh, there is a serial number break in the 7810s, whether you have this style or if you have the new style. Actually, the new style will come actually out the back. Those are the RE577560 couplers. Uh, those are what's in pretty well everything nowadays. The newer stuff anyway and they're a lot easier to change out but the older style serial number uh, has this style where it comes out the back so let's get this assembled back up